I am headed to the do-it-yourself voters on a budget surplus store, which every town has one. Looks like everybody's doing a little boat project today. Hi, Gizmet. What's up, tubes? Welcome back. So, in a video two ago, I said that it went from like super cold to all of a sudden summer showed up. Summer finally showed up. Literally within the span of a day, it went from like 30 to 40 degrees up to now 70. Well, now it's back down to cold. A little sunny. This is not 40 degrees, it's about 60. It's Memorial Day weekend. Pretty windy. I don't even see the flag, she's moving. Not sure what kind of boating's in store this weekend. We'll see if we got some projects. Got a small table that we are going to put this mount on. And we're drilling another hole. This baby is going to go on the back, kind of by the grill. Um, we have one over here. I don't know if you can kind of see it where the fishing rod holder is right there so that table can actually fit into the hole with this bracket enough boring chit chat what do you think kismet let's get to it a bunch of these little screws Falling all over the place on the cup holders. Just slide in for now, take those out. See how we can get this thing out. Probably, oh, please don't say they calked it in. I bet there's an adhesive on here too. Oh, there we go. Woo. Woo. So here's the crappy part. We got a nice table. Yeah, it looks yeah, dirty. We gotta drill more holes. So, we're gonna have to drill to where it's completely center and do it without ruining. Look at how nice and countersinked those things are. Now, look at it. So clean, it's a reflection. You can see myself. I wonder if I can use. Some of these existing holes, those two line up. Then the table's cattywampus. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna give this a shot. So it's a little off center. It's not pretty, but the hole isn't that far off and it does give us a little offset. So there could be a benefit. I do not want to drill four new holes for this plate just because from the other side, it's so clean. Get the sun in there, you might be able to see. I like to leave it clean on top so it's presentable. I could take this off, put kind of some adhesive down here. This might get the hold because with the two screws there, it's a little flimsy. I mean, this table's not going to hold much weight. It's not designed to hold weight. Just drinks, a charcuterie board, or some kind of food snacks. I bet if we adhesive this to this, I might be able to get some kind of a, uh, well, I don't know what you call it, a bracket of some sort that I could screw to the bottom of this or screw in using these existing holes and then attach this piece to that piece. Modifications on a budget, boating on a budget. We'll give it a shot. We'll see how this does. All right, guys, so back to the table here um, where we left it. This bracket was, it just had two bolts there. Sorry, I didn't get video of it. It did work a little bit, but we couldn't swivel it on the side of the boat because of the cup holders, the length. Um, you can see in the photo here, it sits a little bit lower than the rail. So my idea was to build a spacer, about yay big. And then I brought the table home, I was gonna build that. And as I'm walking out the door, I see, wait a minute, there's a ram mount sitting there and a spare ram mount, which just happened, oops, which just happens to be about that length. And this would be more versatile anyway, because then we could shift it, twist it, angle it, whatever, especially if we want to use it on the back of the boat by the barbecue grill, because it's kind of angled and we could level it. So multi-purpose. So what I'm going to try to do is we mounted the ball on the top of this. This will go yay here. And then I do have to build, I still have to build a spacer here, but we'll center mount that there. Uh, I could drill new holes here but on the back side 
it just it looks good it might if i can keep it uniform and drill holes uniform which is not my style because i always mess up something we could countersink holes but i'm afraid i'm going to crack this i hate cutting into drilling anything this lexan plexiglass type stuff i mess it up always 100 percent of the time every time so i'm trying to think of some kind of a spacer uh so i gotta find something durable i know i have something here in my crap somewhere i'll figure it out so i did not have a piece i could not find a good spacer so i am headed to the uh, do-it-yourself um, voters on a budget surplus store which every town has one i want to pick up a new piece of plexiglass Lexan, and I know they have them in black. At least I hope they have them in stock. Looks like everybody's doing a little boat project today. Boat window aisle. Hmm. There's a thin black in that. Whoo! That was a mistake going to that store today. Oh my lord! Apparently Memorial Day weekend's a big day at the uh, do-it-yourselfer boating on a budget store. Uh, I didn't get the black. They didn't have it. Um, they really didn't have what I needed at all. They had something that'll make work. So just real thin. I'll just double it up Nobody's ever gonna be looking at the underside of it anyway, but that should work. At least I still get to use all the remaining Five six holes. All right, so I'm on my way back from the uh, boat surplus store did some more thinking I just don't think it'll look right. It's gonna drive me nuts. So we're gonna go for it I'm going to find center point and we're just going to mount it directly on here. But now, see, now I'm double thinking myself again because I'm going to be able to spread out that weight. I think it'll be fine. If I do four holes, yeah, we're good. I'm going to drill holes. <laughs> I think we're done doesn't look too bad only added four new holes we'll leave these screws in there these screw in underneath so kind of what is on here is what I ended up using back so I basically purchased this left sand for nothing I'll keep it we'll use it for something but let me sit you down here and we will show you oh my spring supposed to be spring-loaded all right there we go. now we're back together Woohoo! all right table is done oh I don't have anything to test it out with so this will sit in the boat huh let's go try it out all right guys well apparently it helps if you power up the mic so you can hear me the mount actually works perfect it actually works as planned the swivel is a little loose and it does get a little wobbly when we have it pointing straight up or the mount is straight up when we bring it down to tilt it or into the leveling phase as you can see here it does become a little more stable uh, we still have a little tinkering to do but we will i'll figure it out but anyway it works as planned let's do a little boating so is your overall impression of the table first impression i like it it is a little loose, but I like the loosey part, huh? Can it tighten down anymore? Is it just gonna I mean, No, we'll we'll tinker with it. I mean as long as your drink has a lid on it. Unless we're enduring like crazy boat wake action. 
Yeah. Just on a beautiful little slow roll cruise. Pay attention, Dwayne. Get a little crooked. Sorry, boat. Only took, uh, finally, Memorial Day. The Memorial Day for it to be nice weather. And the table is working out splendidly. And we do have another mount that we're going to mount back there for. This houseboat wants to race at a whopping 7 knots or 8.3 miles an hour. Oh, we're taking the lead. Yeah, we're winning. By nose. He's not giving up. Oh, I think he's I think he's giving in. Can't overpower the D's knots at seven miles an hour. How many knots? Uh seven uh, seven knots, sorry, eight point one eight miles an hour. That's right. We're trying to get more into the nautical terms. We're talking knots. Nuts. With these knots. No more miles an hour. Nuts. Or is it conceded? Conceded. Conceded. That's succumb. Succ Succumb, succeeded. Oh, he succumbed. Succeeded. And he, and he conceded. Conceded. Well, conceded is, yeah, when you give up something and succumb, yeah, you just like succumb to the situation that you're not going to win. Concede usually means, I, well, either one means you could usually give something up. Or he's just super pissed off at us. If because if he's staying the same, same, yeah. same, yeah, because he shouldn't be mad at us. He's going behind us because we are like those people in Costco pushing the slow shopping cart and he's like get the f out of the way yeah he's making a good pass you see oh. it yeah he's making a good hard pass behind us sorry buddy if you watch this we're those shopping cart people we hold steadfast to our path we're fine Good looking houseboat though.
Thank you.